He's talking to Rubio. Yes. Now, here he is. Here we go. Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump. Come a little closer, sir. Mr. Trump, did Mr. Trump, will you debate again? Are you up for a rematch against Kamala Harris? Did she get into your head tonight, sir? Are you up for a rematch? Are you up for a rematch against Kamala Harris? Our campaign says they want to debate you again. What's the best way to do this? Go this way. Why are you up for a rematch? How about we do it this way? You ready? Wait, Donald Trump has just walked into the spin room here. He's walking here. Mr. Trump, we're live on ABC News here, sir. Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump. I think he's about to talk. Wait, here we go. So we thought it was our best debate ever. It was my best debate ever, I think. And we had a, it was very interesting. It showed how weak they are, how pathetic they are, and what they're doing to destroy our country and the border with foreign trade, with everything. And I think it was the best debate I've ever personally that I've had. We're getting polls that show 92 to 6, 88 to, to 11. Uh, we're having a lot of great polls that just came out. They're polls, I guess, uh, phone polls and lots of other polls, but you see the polls. A very important debate. Now, she wants to do another one because she got beaten tonight, but I don't know if we're going to do another one. I wouldn't mind. Did she get into your head tonight, sir? The polls are indicating that we got 90%. 60%, 72%, 71%, and 89%. So the polls are very good, but beyond the polls, I felt very good. I had a good time doing it. I hate to speak about our country so negatively, but that's what happened. They've ruined our country. They've destroyed our country. So uh, I hope you're all having a good time. But it was a very interesting uh, evening. Yeah, go ahead. So confident you won tonight. Why are you here? Why not let the performance speak for itself? Well, I think it did, but people said, would I come here? And I made an obligation to a couple of people that I'm going to do their show. But it was a, uh, I thought it was a great night. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President you talked to me. What are the I have no idea. Mr. President, is the President, when Republicans are complaining about moderators, does that mean that it wasn't a good night? Were you not prepared? No, I thought the moderators were very unfair, but it basically was three on one. And But I thought they were very unfair, the moderators. Everybody did. But despite that, they're saying that the debate was Why a big debate. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, for that kind of debate? Yeah, I assume the moderators would be bad because that right there is the worst of all the news networks, in my opinion, and it always has been. Yeah. Why will you commit to a second debate with Kamala Harris? She if you wants believe a second debate because she lost tonight very badly. So they want, they immediately call for a second debate because they lost. So we'll, you know, think about that. But uh, she immediately called for a second. Look, we're looking at polls. We're looking at polls. The worst, the worst poll that we've had was 71 that I see. 71 percent to like 24 or 25 percent. All right, Wit. So if you still have me, he's walked a little bit away from our camera. Now he's at the edge there. You won't be able to hear him well. But one of the things you did hear was a question just asked by our Catherine Folders asking, why not commit to another debate if you believe that you won? He said he believes he won this debate. But then he was also asked, why be in here in the spin room spinning about this debate if it's a debate that you believe was a clean win? We're going to try to get you as close as we can to Donald Trump, but I don't think you're going to be able to hear. Let me try to get my mic in there and see if you can hear Wit if you're still going through my camera here. Mr. President, Mr. President.
All right. So if I could just tell you what we're seeing, because it's probably still hard to hear him. Donald Trump has entered.